feel like we were just at the airport last month. <laughs> oh wait, we were. <laughs> Right. As you can see, Adam and I are headed to the airport. We are on our way to Florida for the Orlando Informer. We did this last year and we had so much fun. We know that things are gonna be different this year, but we just wanted to get away. And uh, since one of our trips, we were supposed to go on a catamaran, was canceled twice this year. We had this weekend open and this just happened to fall on the OI event. So Adam booked it. So here we are, let's go. Hi guys, we're back in Florida. We're going to Universal Studios today. We're doing the Orlando Informer again. I haven't been able to talk to you because they play music inside at all times. It's fun, I love hearing it, but it's also very frustrating for a vlogger, just saying. That's it, right there. We've gone over that bridge all the time. Every time we've been here, it never looked this way to where we're walking right now. It's crazy that we always walk over that bridge to get into the park and we've never looked over here to notice this walkway. Well, we've also never stayed at the Hard Rock Hotel either. So, fun times. So one of the first stops we made when going into Universe Studios was to the Tribute Store. This year was their first year doing this. It's a little building where you can shop holiday themed merchandise like ornaments and apparel and stockings and gifts and stuff like that all themed out. And it was really cool because each room had a different theme. Like one was Grinch, one was Harry Potter, one was all about Earl, which is really funny because I learned about Earl last year or this, uh, maybe earlier this year. Earl is a squirrel that was in the park and one day it chewed through some wires and it had an untimely death um, but because he was so known by all the staff and stuff like that they decided to dedicate a whole room to Earl the squirrel and they also put an ornament in the tree which I think we're going to try and find. I'm in line for the crepes. That's that's the line there. So we'll see how long it takes. I timed it and the line took me an hour, but let me tell you, the crepe was delicious. <laughs> This year, Universal Studios decided to have a tree hunt, a holiday tree hunt. It's $9.95 to get um, a bag, uh, the booklet, and in the booklet there are 16 different trees you have to go and look for. So I did this in two days. The only trees I didn't find were the two that were in City Walk because we literally went straight into Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure each day, so there was no time for me to go to City Walk and check it all out. Um, I think I missed one tree that was in Toontown, but I had got the rest of them and I loved them. My favorite was probably the Poseidon one, which is so funny because I despise the Poseidon ride. Needless to say, I loved that one and I loved the Men in Black one too. It was just so cool. Oh, and the Hello Kitty one was also really cool because Hello Kitty, right? I had a lot of fun talking to the worker that worked in the Marvel guy area. Uh, it was funny because I spent some of my time in uh, quarantine watching all the Marvel movies in timeline order so I was really excited to actually check out the tree and how they decorated it and like what items they picked to add to it so it was lots of fun. 
the whole point and the reason why you pay that $9.95 is because at the end of it they give you an ornament and you put it inside of the cute little suede bag that they give you and the ornament's really cute. It's a nice little keepsake for me to have. I really like it. Hey Adam, we're alone in here. Whoa. All right, it's seven o'clock. That means the park is closed. We are in a pre-free line for Hagrid's. It's gonna be our first ride that we're on when the park is closed. We're very excited about it because it's an epic ride. We got to go on it once last year, and when we tried to go on it again, it's very bright. Uh, the line was too long, so we couldn't get on it. So we're hoping this year we're gonna ride it a few times. So I got green eggs and ham. They're normally not open, like regular park hours. So I'm really excited because last year they weren't open at all. And they said that they were gonna be open, but they weren't, so yay. Have any of you thrown anything away that's not? 